Hey guys, Jordan here, coming to you with my Spookathon TBR. For those of you who don't know, a TBR is a to be read list, and unfortunately, I have not gotten to film my TBR list for the Spookathon until right now because I ordered a book I was planning on read reading for the Spookathon and I've been waiting for it to come in the mail and it finally came in the mail today so no further ado here's my TBR for the Spookathon now the Spookathon is a readathon hosted by three lovely ladies on YouTube and I will link their channels down in the description in case you want to join in on the readathon. It started on October 17th and it will go until October 23rd but it's never late, never too late to join and I would love for you to join and let me know what you're reading if you are doing the Spookathon. The Spookathon is basically a readathon to get you in the Halloween spirit and in preparation for Halloween. The readathon is basically a week where you read all the horror and all the thriller books you can in one week. Now, there are five different reading challenges you can participate in. You don't have to participate any. You can participate in just a few. You can participate in all of the reading challenges. It is totally up to you. The main rule is that during the Spookathon from October 17th till the 23rd, you only can read horror and thriller books. The five challenges you can participate are Read a 2016 new release. Read a book with a spooky word in the title. Read a book with a red cover. Read a book with a paranormal or supernatural creature. And read a thriller. So the first book I'm planning on reading during the readathon. This is in no particular order. So for my 2016 new release, I'm planning on reading The Telling by Alexandra, Alexandra Sarawi, I think. Sarawi, maybe? Yeah. We'll go with that. <clears throat> so this book is going to be, like I said, my... 2016 new release and it is also the group read along for the readathon so at the end of the readathon everybody in the readathon can talk about what they thought about the book and I'm sure all three of the hosts will um post a video about it and everybody can discuss it and it will be a really good time and a really good chance to meet other people and see what they thought about the book. But of course, <clears throat> you do not have to read the telling and participate in the group read along if you don't want to. But I decided to do it because I needed a new release for 2016 anyway. And it gave me an excuse to buy a new book. Yeah, I'm a bookaholic, what can I say? So the telling, I'm not sure what it's about because I honestly didn't hear about it until I heard about the readathon. <clears throat> it says, Lana used to know what was real. That was before, when her life was small and quiet. Her golden stepbrother, Ben, was alive. She could only dream about bonfiring with the populars. 
Their wooded island home was ideal lake. She could tell the truth from lies. And Ben's childhood stories were firmly in her imagination. Then came after. After had Lana or Lena boldly kissing her crush, jumping into the water from too high up, living with nerve and mischief, but after also has horrors, death that only makes sense in fairy tales, and tears from a past Lana thought long forgotten, love, blood, and murder. That sounds so freaking good. And it sounds so thrilling and suspenseful, and I can't wait to read it. The next book I'm planning on reading for the readathon is for the reading challenge a book with a supernatural or paranormal creature. And for that, I am planning on reading Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. And I'm already halfway through, and my goal is to finish it tonight. This book is so freaking amazing. <clears throat> um, it's basically about a boy whose grandfather dies unexpectedly, and his grandfather used to tell him all of these stories about his childhood and this magical island and this orphanage on the island and when his grandfather suddenly passes away he leaves them like he leaves his grandson the main character Jacob <clears throat> all these different clues that lead back to his grandfather's past and I'm not gonna give any spoilers away but nothing is really what it seems and Jacob is kind of putting all the clues his grandfather gave him together to search for the orphanage and this mysterious and magical island and to find out like what happened to his grandfather as a child? Because his grandfather never really talked about his childhood. <clears throat> and he sometimes would tell stories, but his grandson Jacob never really believed them. And not only is the story a good Halloween read, but there are a lot of different creepy pictures in the book as well um like you have two creepy little clown children you have somebody doing a very unnatural backbend a face on a dog body a levitating baby, a girl in a bottle, and all sorts of creepy pictures. All the really creepy pictures in Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children really help you imagine what the characters look like and what the scenery looks like and it helps you understand the story better and who the characters are better and it really immerses you into the story and you feel like you're a part of the story and not only are the pictures really creepy but the story is such a creepy read and it's so creepy in fact and so could in fact I am really hooked and I can't put it down and I know I will definitely get it done tonight and I can't wait to finish reading it. 
The third book I am planning on reading is for the reading challenge, a book with red on the cover. If you can see on the cover, there's a girl in a dress right there and her dress is red. So for that, I am reading The Vines by Christopher Rice, which I thought it would be the perfect read for the Spookathon. It is only... Do, 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 do. 215 pages around there so I thought it would be a really quick read and by the cover alone I can tell it will be a really creepy read I'm pretty sure this book from what I can tell is basically about an old mansion on a plantation um the heiress of the plantation, her husband betrays her and she tries to kill herself and all the blood she spills wakes up all the sinister demons and spirits that roam the plantation and the handyman's daughter and her friend try to kind of investigate and see what kind of paranormal activity is happening on the plantation. So I can't wait to read it and I'm thinking it would be a good read to read over the weekend. Maybe stay up really late one night and read it and really get scared and yeah. So the last book I'm planning on reading is for the the thriller reading challenge so the thriller I am planning on reading is a book I got for free for an honest review and it's called The Numbers Game by Allison Janda from what I could get from the bio it's basically about a serial killer called the Alphabet Killer and um, the Alphabet Killer started off by killing, you know, prostitutes and like all the bad people, but now the Alphabet Killer is starting to kill good people and innocent people, so it's a thriller about that and I can't wait to read it and finally do a review for the lovely author that sent it to me and yeah I will let you know what I think. So that was my TBI for the Spookathon. If you're participating comment down below what you're planning on reading and how you're doing so far. Look out for a uh, update video for the Spookathon every couple or every few days. And I hope y'all are enjoying fall and are, if you are participating in the Readathon, good luck. I believe in you and yeah, I really hope y'all have a wonderful day. I love you to the moon and back. Subscribe if you like what you're seeing and give the video a like if you're participating in the Spookathon. I would love to hear from y'all. Love you.